friends so you all are welcome in uh, this specific we are going to discuss uh, different problem solving techniques uh, by searching in artificial intelligence and this is chapter 1 in which we will discuss what basically searching is and what is state space search so let us start uh, before moving to the chapter we should understand what searching is if we uh, generally talk about searching searching means finding in general finding a solution if you are talking about a website it could be finding the answer of any question if you are in a city we could say that searching is finding the correct path to move from one city to another and suppose we are playing chess in that case what will be the next best step to move to search that specific move could be searching and there could be many other more things that we, we can say that is there in terms of ai if we are talking about artificial intelligence then we can say that search is the process of considering various possible sequences of operators applied to the initial state that means we must have some initial state from where we will start and we have a lot of possible sequences of operations like we could move from a to b a to c a to d a to e and so on we are having different possible sequences of operations we will start from initial state then after applying those possible sequences of operation to the initial state how we are reaching to the goal state is basically searching so searching is basically a process of moving to or finding the goal state starting from the initial state and following some possible operations possible sequence of operations you can say so that is searching in terms of artificial intelligence if we talk that how this searching works then there is basically a concept of state space state space is basically all possible operations in one particular space that we call state space so there is the concept of state we first we should have a search problem okay that search problem is represented using a directed graph it could be any kind of problem that we are going to work with so we have to understand what is that search problem right and in that search problem what we will have we will have states that states will be represented as nodes as you can see in this diagram these circled um, elements are basically nodes here okay and we will have some allowed actions as we are saying searching is starting from the initial node there there must be some initial node then there are some possible set of operations like from this node we can move to this 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 and this and from this node we can move to this this and this node these are the actions so we must have actions there that will be represented as arcs and we must have some states out of them some will be the initial nodes some will be the goal nodes and some will be the intermediate nodes that will be that we will require for moving from one node to another node right so this is basically the searching process now if we we'll talk about the algorithm that how searching process work that in that case there is a loop basically what is the loop how we will make the loop do until a solution is found or the state space is exhausted so this terminate terminating condition of the loop we will make the loop until we will not found a solution or until the state space is exhausted now there are different steps inside the loop first of all we will move to the current state we will have to found what is the current state because this is the initial state from where we will start searching then in second step we will execute allowable ac actions to find the successor states so if you are in current state it must have some successor states from where you can reach to other nodes right so we will have to found which are the allowable actions which are basically the successor states and for that we will execute some allowable actions then we will pick one of the new states out of them suppose from the starting state we will found two new states one we will pick as a new state and then we will check if this new state is a solution state if it is then we will return the path but if it is not then what we will do we will make this state as a current state and we will repeat the process again right let us illustrate it with a proper diagrammatic representation as you can see in this diagram we have we are having the state space in this state space we are starting from the initial state and this is our goal state we have three goal states here right initially when we will start from the initial node initial state we will find the we will just check for the allowable actions to find the successors of this one as you can see in this specific diagram this initial state are having two successors this one and this one okay after that because this is the end node here we will found that this particular node is having two further states and then we will have to expand them also 
After expanding them, we are seeing that this node has two successors and this node is having one successor only. And when this particular node is being expanded, we come to this specific node and we found that this is the goal state. In that case, we can return this specific path from start node to end node that this is the specific path we have searched for. Okay, so this is what searching is. Let's see a problem definition of 8 puzzle. In this case, we have the initial state, we have a goal state. We first have to convert the whole thing into, say, a state space representation. In that case, state space representation will have something like states. We have to found different states. As you can see, uh, what will be the state in that case? Uh, you can say that this particular is the initial state in that case that is been given up. And the next one is basically this one is the goal state. So we must have the initial state and goal state. Uh, right then the operations operators or actions that we will need is the uh, basic actions that we can do we can perform is the blank moves either towards the left towards the right up or down okay as you can see from here it could move to up left right or down these are the possible actions that we can perform right and then we have a goal test goal test is what that we are seeing here in a sky blue representation this is basically the goal state in which we want to reach have a path cost uh, every time when we will we will move a blank uh, space towards the left right top or bottom it will cost one for that one. for every move it will cost one right sorry after that but we can see that we are starting from this initial node in this initial state we are having two successors this and this that means either four could be moved towards the right or could move towards the upper side in that case these two could be the possible states and when we are here then in that case these could be the further possible states because this is the blank either five could move toward the left or one could move towards the upper side in that case these are the two possible operations that could be performed meanwhile there could be many other steps it is basically the partial state space we are having a lot of state space that we will found and then according to the specific position we will find the successors of that one and we will see if it is the goal node or not if it is not then we will found this as a current node and then we will move further for the for finding the goal node so guys this is basically the way how we search for a specific problem in state space representation but for actually search operation we must have to know ideas that we can uh, use for finding this kind of search for applying this kind of search in any specific problem so we are going to discuss different search strategies sorry different search strategies in next chapter for that you have to keep patience so guys uh, it is recommended to watch that chapter later on till then please like and subscribe thank you very much